And then, now, uh, I'd like to invite David uh, Gacy uh, to give that finance report. Uh, good evening, everyone. Uh, as you know, by board policy, we have uh, required to give an update on our finances, uh, on our at least on our operating funds, uh, at the end of every quarter. So this will be our results uh, through March 31st of 2015. Uh, uh, the budget is uh, is doing uh, is doing well. Uh, revenue. Uh, well, it may look like we're a little short of where we uh, expected. Uh, right now, I'll explain uh, uh, why there's, uh, we don't have too much to worry about that in just a minute. We get in, into details on revenue, but uh, we typically expect $63.3 million, given how our budget is, and we have $61.1 million uh, reported on a accrued basis. So we have more on a cash basis that we'll talk about in a minute. On the expense side, uh, we are just below where we expect to be of $61.7 million. We are at $60.9 million. On page three, uh, you will see uh, more detail of, uh, regarding our revenues. On uh, tuition and fees, as you all know, our enrollment is down this year. Uh, we were off uh, in our projection by about 1%, and that is what that $300,000 uh, reflects. Uh, please note on that amount, uh, there is still some money in there that will end up being recorded in the next fiscal year because we already have students enrolling for the uh, late summer and for the fall. Uh, so you're going to see a little bit of change in that number. On the ICCB credit hour grant, uh, that's also referred to as apportionment. You'll see that is where our biggest variance is of a negative $2.1 million. I'm pleased to report that we are actually current uh, through February, uh, which means that we are only down one payment of $690,000. Uh, unfortunately, they did not come in until after March 31st, so we don't record them uh, uh, because we do this on an accrual basis. Uh, so when you add those two uh, together, uh, we're only short on revenue by, uh, by $800,000, but still less than total expenditures. Property tax, we always do conservatively. It uh, uh, came in a little bit over uh, $200,000 more than what we would have anticipated by this point. Uh, replacement tax is right on budget. Uh, and so you see on an accrual basis, uh, we are at $2.2 .2 million, but on a cash basis, uh, our revenue is down $820,000. Um, yeah. On the next page, uh, you see expenditures by source. Uh, we're doing, uh, uh, one of the biggest reasons why we're doing well uh, is uh, uh, what we're able uh, to achieve uh, uh, savings with salaries. Uh, that really happens uh, from two major sources uh, that uh, it's both uh, hiring, uh, when we hire new employees, uh, not exactly at the budgeted amount, uh, but also the time that it takes to fill vacancies uh, once they occur here. And, and that's a pretty uh, typical amount that we'll see. We're right on budget on health insurance. Those are our two. Uh, uh, biggest uh, expenditures. Uh, so in total, uh, from budget, uh, we have a positive variance of $800,000. On the next uh, page, uh, as we always discuss, our auxiliary fund, our auxiliary fund are our operations uh, that uh, are supposed to be uh, self-balancing, uh, as the college often referred to as Fund 5. Uh, you see the budgets there. Uh, we uh, would have expected a uh, Revenue of $8.9 million, uh, but our actual revenue has only been $8.4 million, uh, which is good because our expenditures have only been $8.4 million. And you'll see on the next page, on page six, uh, the detail on this. Uh, you will see a large variance with athletics. Again, uh, for accrual reasons, uh, we don't do the final adjustment of that additional 50 cent. Uh, as you see in the note below, uh, we had a 50 cent uh, increase fee to uh, ensure that athletics uh, would balance. Uh, we would have been uh, pretty close, but because we're off a little bit on enrollment, uh, and you see it at the end of the year, it won't be quite $460,000. Uh, so you'll see a, a much better variance there in our next report. 
uh, bookstore. Uh, uh, while uh, that number looks like it's uh, doing well, uh, that is significantly less uh, than in prior years and continues to go down. Uh, food service uh, is uh, nearly breaking even. We also have a, a not recorded today transfer that we typically do for our child care services. Performing arts uh, continues to do well as it normally does. And we've had uh, a much more positive uh, 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 outcome in revenues uh, uh, for WPEI. Uh, so uh, that has turned around uh, actually quite a bit uh, since, our, since our last report. So that's how you can see that, uh, that our revenue and expenditures are matching. Are there any questions? How soon? Question Trustee Holland? Sorry. How soon will some of the new construction because I'm seeing quite a bit of it throughout the country now start generating some tax revenue projections and projections? We, uh, first of all, as you you all know, we've talked about this quite a bit. There there is a three year lag, uh, uh, which helps us on when uh, property values are going down. Uh, uh, but it doesn't come back right away uh, when we're having uh, an increase. Uh, we are seeing it. Uh, when we did our projections earlier this year, all of our information was uh, showing that it was a make the growth was sort of still uh, uh, stubbornly in pockets within the county. Uh, it does appear, though, to be getting uh, better. Uh, recent, uh, and particularly home sales, uh, have been showing uh, higher increases. So that also uh, impacts uh, things as well. Uh, right now, we were very conservative on our financial plan for future years of only showing 0% growth, uh, but uh, it is something that we, when we do our next financial plan, uh, that uh, for the second half of next year, uh, we'll probably, I wouldn't be surprised if we show it a little bit more yet. So David, on the um, chart that you showed us with the um, third quarter results, the WPDI, you're saying that that is doing better than expected, but help me out here since it's uh, got expenses exceeding money. Uh, we had anticipated a, a much larger uh, shortfall, and we're showing a much larger shortfall uh, earlier uh, in the year. Uh, some of that uh, is timing, uh, in when revenue actually uh, does come in. Some expenditures have to come up earlier uh, before the revenue uh, comes in. I don't know if Richard, anything you want to add? No, it's it's uh, it's typical that sometimes you'll see that trending in, in the right direction as we move this year. So I was going to say by the fourth quarter, that's going to. We we hope. Okay, that's yeah. the goal, of course. Yeah. The goal is uh, it, it will be close. We've talked to staff. Uh, it won't be balanced. Uh, if we count employee benefits, uh, uh, it, it won't be balanced. Uh, the college subsidizing employee benefits for that area. Uh, but it's doing better than what we had, uh, what we had thought would happen uh, earlier in the year. Are the benefits in here now? None of them? Oh. And in the other areas, do you generally include the benefits in the, in the assessments in the other areas, or? Uh, we do for uh, food service and uh, uh, and for the bookstore, uh, uh, because, uh, and because of the bookstore, because we could uh, absorb them, but uh, we weren't able to absorb them. At some point uh, over the next couple of months, can you tell us what that amount is? So we have a true picture of what the actual expenses for the areas are? We'll have it in the budget presentation at the May board meeting. Uh, once that's all finalized, we do an actual transfer just for the benefits, and I'll make sure to call that out in the presentation. Great. Do you have, have questions, David? I have two more questions. Mm -hmm. um, what would you say, just a rounded figure, is the benefit for the WPDI? What number is not included there? But just so I can understand the magnitude. I can tell Approximately? You. I can tell you. Good evening. Mm -hmm. I'm Renita Martin. I'm the Executive Director of the Old Person Professional Development Institute. It's approximately 380000 Okay. Those are, that's just benefits? Yes, the benefits number 380,000 is not included in this figure, right? Okay. My second question is, um, which I think it should be first, that's another discussion. Um, the bookstore number, the expense, we already know that the revenue will be going down. How will that impact the expense? Because that looks pretty close there. 
doesn't look like we have any wiggle room as far as the revenue is concerned. So do you anticipate the expense to go down? And can you tell me what is the makeup of that expense number? Generally, just you know, big picture executive summary number. Most of the expense is the dollar amount for resale of books. Uh, we only have uh, seven full-time staff uh, that run the books. There are a number of seasonal staff uh, during the uh, peak periods. Uh, uh, to be quite candid, I don't expect uh, that expenditure number uh, to go down. Uh, and, and I still need to see revenue go down. Uh, we are experiencing whatever every bookstore in the country has experienced. Uh, I call it the Amazon effect. Uh, people are out shopping on Amazon. We uh, have done what we think is the most that we can do, the best standards. Uh, we do we have to purchase software that crawls the web uh, and looks uh, hourly to see what's the cheapest price, and we match it to where we can. Uh, but anyone who's been shopping for books uh, will find that uh, any textbook is available for less than $5 nowadays. Uh, it just depends on the condition uh, of the book. Uh, so uh, that's why we know that uh, this is a trend going on. I've talked to my uh, fellow uh, chief business officers. Uh, we're all very concerned about that. Saw a number of presentations at our uh, recent me meeting about this. Uh, as a result of the audit that we did earlier in the year, uh, uh, we have uh, uh, put together, and uh, we're about to invite uh, participants to a book, uh, bookstore task force of uh, what we do for the, the future of the bookstore, recognizing what the new reality is, which is, uh, and at least confront uh, what's in front of our eyes, that uh, everyone is buying their books online, and uh, our ability to compete with that is difficult. We also have to keep in mind, though, that uh, our, both our faculty and our students uh, demand that books be here when they, when they come here. Uh, so, uh, so we've got some work to do uh, as a college community of how we're going to move forward with books. Okay, we'll move on. 